Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews, and we're back with part two of the Ride On Saga. This particular beer is a collaboration beer between Pickaroons and Upstreet Brewing. Pickaroons, of course, being Fargus New Brunswick, Upstreet Brewing being uh, Charlottetown PEI, and they collaborated to make a beer um, that is a rye beer, Imperial Rye beer, that is brewed with copious amounts of rye, and the biggest difference, they use the exact same grain bills, exact same hops, and the biggest difference between the two is that the Upstreet version was uh, brewed with uh, lager yeast, and the Picaroons version brewed with their traditional ringwood yeast. Uh, the ringwood yeast is their, uh, their it's, it's basically Picaroons' staple, and it works. Um, it's Picaroons' staple, gives them their characteristic flavor, but I've also, you know, chastised it in the past because I don't feel it works with every beer that they make, but uh, usually it's the darker and the heavier beers that that Ringwood yeast kind of works with, and I'm kind of excited to try this. And, um, you know, as referenced by the fact that I still have the bottle sitting around, I just had the uh, Upstreet Brewing version last week. It came out to 8.0% ABV. How much did this one come to? Exactly the same. So, what's Pickaroons have to say on their bottle? It says, uh, fierce loyalty and shared tastes are the gateway to a lifelong friendship. Upstreet and Pickaroons are coming together with to brew something totally new. Ride On is an imperial rye beer we've collaborated on to brew with the same malt and, and hops, but different yeast. Trust us on this one. So yeah, Northampton Brewing Co. in New Brunswick, which is a, the real name of Pickaroons. But you don't hear them called Northampton much. Anyway, let's crack the top off of uh, this particular beer. I picked this up, I believe, a week ago, shortly after we recorded the other review, at the Pickaroons General Store in St. John, New Brunswick. And uh, I think it, in the meantime, it's actually showed up in um, NB Liquor Stores. So uh, whether or not I upload this video in time, it uh, should be readily available if you get to it in uh, about March or April of 2017. I'll try to upload this soon. But, uh, I forget where I got the Upstreet version. I think I got that from the liquor store. Anyway, moving her along. Appearance-wise, it's got that deep ruby red appearance. It's got virtually the same color of head as well. Big, poofy, kind of, uh, off-white tan kind of color. Looks very caramel in appearance, which isn't surprising given how the uh, reddish the body is. That reddish body reminds me a lot of Picaroon's um, Irish red, but it's probably the mere fact that I'm looking at it uh, at the beer <clears throat> through the glass, through a Picaroon's glass, knowing it's a Picaroon's beer, and I'm thinking, hmm, looks just like the red, and indeed it is. Let's give it a sniff and not put it in my nose. So the smell's muted. I'm getting peppery rye. A bit of like a red delicious, like the flesh of an apple. <clears throat> a little, uh, like a traditional hops. Uh, it's kind of like I like got this, like not so much metallic, but like a copper coin. Well, I guess that is kind of same metallic, but it's got that that kind of herbal quality, copper coin quality, that a, uh, a nice German beer would have. Mmm, very spicy. Mmm, smells nice. It's almost like a, like a hint of black cherry. Black cherry and caramel. Boy, that, actually, the more the head, the, the more the head goes down, the more it has, uh, able to breathe, and the smells are starting to get stronger. And I'm getting a nice, gentle, malty sweetness. Mmm, smells good enough to drink. Down the hatch. Ooh. Very earthy in the back. Not, uh, like, super earthy. If I recall correctly, the upstreet was rather brash in its earthiness, despite having a very clean finish. This one's smoother and creamier. Got thicker on the back end. With a lot of sweet malt poking up through. 
and of course that that creamy buttery kind of note and I, I don't want to go straight out and say ooh die is subtle because a lot of people do that when they drink Pickaroon's beers oh that die is subtle no but it's got that pleasing kind of taste that you would uh, generally associate with a Pickaroon's beer um, in the back end it's but what I'm trying to say is, it's almost like a, it's almost like a bit of like buttercream kind of, again, the butter. I'm, I'm trying to stay away from butter. It's almost like it's got this kind of lactic cream kind of taste in the back end. But uh, it fills up the back of the throat and kind of balances out those hops a bit better. Ooh. And a big, rich rye, but it's not, it's mellowed out quite considerably. It's very sweet and very peppery, but not like cloyingly sweet where you would go on a sugar high or you would, uh, you know, you can't stomach this beer. This is a, obviously a, like a one beer. I wouldn't drink a whole bunch of these, but this is not something I could session, but this is definitely something that I enjoy and I would sit down and drink one of <clears throat> in a night. And it would be one that I would keep coming back to as well. And that lovely earthiness, the lingering earthy finish to it, is quite pleasant. And it doesn't linger on too long. It, it lingers on long enough to be satisfying without overstaying its welcome. That's not bad. I'd almost say that I like this version. I mean, I really like both versions of the beer. I loved how, despite the earthy finish... The earthiness in the finish, the how clean the uh, the other version, how light and clean it was in the back. This one here just seems to be much more well balanced and much more pleasant beer to drink overall. <clears throat> you know what? I wish the Picaroons would uh, change things up and use their some other kind of yeast. In more of their beers, like the Ringwood yeast, I don't find it works. And like Yippee IPA or Simon Jones, but it is a, a yeast that I find works really well in like Timberhog and especially Man's Best Friend or their Irish Red. It's really they shouldn't be using that yeast in every beer they make, but in this one, it works. <clears throat> That's delicious, Pickaroons. You win in this contest. Um, I'm going to give that one a 4 out of 5. I really enjoy that. And I'll try to upload this sooner than later so you guys get a chance to see these reviews in time to make a buying decision. Which is the whole point of having a beer review. Anyway, that's delicious. Check it out if you can. And thanks for watching Maxwell Stair's beer review of Ride On Imperial Rye from Pickaroons slash Upstreet. Chat with you folks later. Cheers. Cheers.